Okay, slot check during countdown. That pad is clear. Ten, nine, eight. Launch auto sequence has started. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Go for launch. As of July 2025, NASA has confirmed delays in SpaceX's delivery schedules across several joint missions, particularly on Artemis support and Dragon vehicle deployment. Why? SpaceX is internally shifting its engineering priorities, and Washington wasn't consulted. The U.S. has never depended more heavily on a single private contractor to run its space infrastructure, and that contractor just slowed the pipeline. Here's what's confirmed. In late June and early July 2025, internal updates from SpaceX and procurement briefings at NASA pointed to a sharp reallocation of human resources. SpaceX has diverted engineering talent and R&D funding away from several high-priority government programs. Specifically, Starship Human Landing System, HLS, the core of the Artemis program is facing new delays due to SpaceX diverting design staff toward orbital refueling tech for Starlink expansion. Elon Musk has not made a formal public statement, but industry insiders say SpaceX is reprioritizing its own timelines and international goals over NASA's fixed schedule demands. To understand the magnitude of this freeze, you have to understand what the NASA pipeline really is. It's not just a series of contracts. It's the full logistical and operational stack of American space capability. Crewed missions. Only SpaceX is currently certified to fly U.S. astronauts to and from the ISS. Cargo missions. Most ISS resupplies are handled by SpaceX's Dragon capsule. Artemis missions. SpaceX's Starship is the designated lunar lander for Artemis III. National security payloads. SpaceX is the primary launcher for U.S. military satellites under the U.S. Space Force NSSL Phase II program. If you pause even one part of that stack, the entire pipeline backs up. Missions get delayed. Satellites miss launch windows. International partnerships get undermined. And critically, rivals like China and India step in to claim orbital territory. As of now, NASA has no immediate substitute that can scale at SpaceX's volume or cost efficiency. Boeing's Starliner is years behind. ULA doesn't have crew capability. Blue Origin is still in early flight certification. The United States designed this pipeline assuming Elon Musk would stay fully aligned with national priorities. But he's signaling something else now, and Washington is watching closely. Donald Trump hasn't stayed silent on NASA or Elon Musk. In early 2024, Trump publicly praised Musk for bringing back American space power. But by mid-2025, the tone changed. In a May 2025 Truth Social post, Trump criticized what he called the Biden-NASA disaster, blaming the administration for letting Musk take his talent and tech global without loyalty to the country that made SpaceX possible. He added, America built NASA. Now Biden is letting it get outsourced by a CEO who's chasing foreign deals while our rockets wait in Florida. Trump's PAC circulated a memo to donors shortly after, claiming Biden's energy and space policy had pushed Elon into the arms of globalists. Whether that's a fair accusation or not, what's undeniable is the new Republican narrative that Musk is shifting priorities because Washington, under current leadership, is failing to support American innovation with speed or clarity. It's become a political wedge issue. A former Trump space advisor, speaking anonymously to Axios in June 2025, said, This isn't just about rockets. This is about control of orbit, control of resources, and control of global tech leadership. While the U.S. is dealing with pipeline uncertainty, rivals are pushing forward. China, through its CNSA and military-backed Kasich programs, has increased launch frequency. In Q2 2025 alone, China conducted 19 orbital launches and unveiled a new moon rover timeline that could beat the U.S. Artemis landing by months. The Long March 10th rocket, expected to support China's crude lunar ambitions, completed static fire testing in June. Russia, despite financial sanctions, has inked new satellite cooperation deals with India and Iran. 
India's ISRO, meanwhile, has committed to doubling launch capacity through its new heavy-lift rocket tested successfully in March. In short, while SpaceX slows work on U.S. government missions, non-Western alliances are accelerating orbital power plays. The gap is visible. The implications are geopolitical. From 2023 to 2025, SpaceX was responsible for over 60% of all U.S. orbital launches, including national security payloads, ISS resupply, and commercial satellites. That includes 98 orbital launches in 2023, 115 in 2024, and a projected 125 in 2025, though that number is now under review due to shifting internal priorities. NASA doesn't have an in-house rocket fleet. The Atlas V is being retired. Boeing Starliner just completed its first operational mission mid-2025, but it still can't match Dragon in cadence or cost. So if SpaceX even slows its collaboration with NASA, it's not a gap, it's a collapse. U.S. dominance in both commercial and government space activity has depended on one pipeline. And that pipeline is under pressure, internally from SpaceX decisions, and externally from rivals gaining ground fast. Elon Musk's shift is strategic. SpaceX insiders confirm a resource redirection toward commercial Starship launches and Starlink expansion, especially overseas. The company is aggressively prioritizing Starship orbital refueling tech to support global internet coverage, increasing launch cadence for Starlink satellites, especially to serve emerging markets in Asia, the Middle East, and Africa, collaborations with foreign governments, including rumored talks with OPEC nations, BRICS countries, and the UAE, this realignment means deprioritizing NASA's rigid long-term Artemis schedule, which is heavily dependent on government funding and slower bureaucratic timelines. Cost disputes with NASA also linger. Musk reportedly pushed for more favorable terms in 2025, but NASA's budget and congressional oversight limited flexibility. The bottom line, Elon is betting on global commercial dominance over U.S.-only government contracts. That's a major strategic pivot, one that risks U.S. space leadership. The freeze triggered ripple effects immediately. Several NASA engineers expressed concerns internally about delayed Artemis mission readiness. Industry sources reveal a spike in resignations or transfers toward commercial space firms like Blue Origin and smaller startups. Private aerospace contractors are scrambling. Boeing's Starliner program is accelerating certification efforts to fill gaps, but it faces technical challenges. United Launch Alliance is exploring more commercial partnerships to offset NASA's reliance on SpaceX. Analysts warn that the supply chain for rocket components and talent is stretched thin, especially with SpaceX pulling engineers from government projects. This disruption risks a brain drain from NASA's ecosystem to commercial firms that might not prioritize national missions, potentially weakening long-term U.S. space infrastructure resilience. The stalled collaboration carries serious economic stakes. NASA's Artemis program alone represents over $93 billion in planned expenditures through 2030, with SpaceX contracts comprising a significant portion. Paused or delayed launches mean billions in halted government contract payments, potential layoffs in both SpaceX and NASA supply chains, delayed technological development that could push back new space-based industries. Beyond jobs, these delays threaten U.S. strategic economic leadership in the multi-trillion dollar emerging space economy. Investors are watching closely, and international competitors see opportunity. A sustained freeze could ripple through U.S. manufacturing, research institutions, and defense sectors tied to space tech. The SpaceX freeze opens doors for international rivals. China is accelerating its Chang'e lunar program and recently launched the Tiangong space station modules at record cadence in 2025. Russia continues its collaborations with India on the Gaganyan program and expands its military satellite network. BRICS nations are pushing joint satellite constellations and shared launch infrastructure, reducing reliance on U.S. tech. U.S. dominance in space faces pressure from these consolidated efforts. Experts warn the frozen NASA pipeline weakens America's ability to set space norms and standards, ceding influence to rivals. Data shows the U.S. share of global orbital launches slipped in 2023 to 2025, partially due to SpaceX's NASA freeze. In 2023, the U.S. accounted for tilde 55% of global launches. By mid-2025, it's down to tilde 48%. China and Russia's combined share grew correspondingly. NASA and Space Force launch cadence has slowed, impacting military and civilian satellite deployments. This contraction jeopardizes U.S. military communications, intelligence gathering, and commercial satellite competitiveness. 
Space was once America's final frontier. Now with Elon Musk freezing the pipeline, it might become its greatest vulnerability. The freeze isn't just a company decision, it signals a broader strategic challenge. The U.S. risks losing its lead in space innovation, infrastructure, and geopolitical influence. Jobs tied to government contracts are at risk. Rivals gain ground in military and commercial space domains. The question now is, will America adapt fast enough to reclaim control? Or is this the moment space dominance slips away? What do you think is the biggest risk for the U.S. if this SpaceX NASA freeze continues national security, economic fallout, or global leadership? Drop your thoughts below.